Hello and welcome to Drive Seat and to the facelifted version of the BMW 4 Series. Now the 4 Series is available as a two-door coupe, two-door convertible and this four-door grand coupe. Updates at the front are pretty subtle but there's a revised bumper design and the headlights are now fully LED whilst there's a new design for the daytime running lights. And the updates aren't just skin deep, there's a revised steering setup stiffer suspension, new damping, and actually a lower center of gravity to make this thing more stable at high speed and better to drive. While at the rear, it gets redesigned taillights with new LED styling and a revised rear apron. As far as trim levels go, you can choose from SE Sport and M Sport with the Grand Coupe. However, the Coupe and Convertible are only available in Sport and M Sport. From the petrol side, there's a 420, 430 and 440 and on the diesel front 420, 430 and 435. Now depending on which engine you go with you're either going to get a six speed manual or an eight speed automatic gearbox however the auto is also available as an option if you get the manual. You can also choose between xDrive four wheel drive system in the BMW 4 series. Prices for the new car kick off at £33,555. In here, the updates are really centered around the ventilation controls that's slightly wider and got more chrome trim, as do the air vents, and there's this new black gloss finish. The steering wheel has a new leather wrapping, whilst there's a new design for the instrument binnacle. You can also now opt for the optional digital cockpit. And the changes keep the 4 Series interior up to date. It feels modern, it feels classy, and it feels well put together. I've got a lovely sports seat here which is electrically operated and has a good range of adjustment. The steering wheel has good reach but probably limited tilt, but generally I can get pretty comfortable in here. I've got a big door bin, two cup holders in the middle, a small tray ahead of that, and a small central bin because that's got the wireless phone charging. The glove box is actually pretty well sized. Now, if you're spending time in the back, you'll be reminded that this is a coupe. The door apertures aren't the largest and you have to swizzle yourself in. Once in, however, it's quite roomy. I've got plenty of leg and knee room. My feet are a little bit underneath the seat ahead, but to be fair, that's me just pushing my feet forward. These seats are comfortable and quite laid back. There's a central armrest with twin cup holders and a decent sized door bin. The sloping roof line does mean that you need to watch your head on the way out and does make it a little bit darker in here, but you can go for the three series if that's really a problem. One of the biggest benefits of the Grand Coupe is the hatch style opening. It's electrically operated once it's up and can be opened off the key fob. It's got a big flat floor, some decent underfloor storage, side compartment to the right, bag hook on the left, so pretty much everything you need. We're testing the 440 in M Sport trim. It costs £45,490, however this model's got about £9,000 worth of extras on it. That's got a twin turbo 3 litre petrol engine that develops 322 brake horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque. That's enough to get this from standstill to 62 miles an hour in 5.1 seconds. And that's really quick getting into almost M3, M4 territory. The 440 will return an official 41.9 miles per gallon whilst emitting 159 grams per kilometer of CO2. Max torque arrives at 1380 revs, meaning it's almost there the moment you put your foot down from pull away, whilst max power tops out at 5,500 revs. Put your foot down and this just goes. It's so usable. Whilst an M4 can be a little bit hardcore for some, this has just got more power than you'll ever need. It's absolutely beautifully done and it's so smooth as well. There's no delay. It's very silky and creamy in its power delivery. It's got a lovely aggressive exhaust note when you want it. This has the eight speed ZF automatic gearbox shifts beautifully when you're on the move and leaving it in auto mode whilst the steering wheel mounted paddles shift up and down super quickly. The first thing that strikes you is just how comfortable this 440 is, even in the M Sport trim and the reputation that the M Sport will make it crash all over the place. It 
truly doesn't in this car. It's very supple, it's very comfortable. The damping's been improved on the new 4 Series and you can feel that it sits really nicely on the road. It doesn't crash too hard and it doesn't wallow around. It's very nicely judged. You can also feel that change to the suspension in sport mode. It just becomes a little bit rougher, not uncomfortable, but you certainly start to feel those smaller undulations, whereas in comfort mode, they are just smoothed out. The body movement's really nicely controlled. It feels neutrally balanced, waiting to reward the keener of driver. In these damp conditions now, the back end does want to dance. Just need to be aware of that, and it doesn't snap away from you. But the traction controls very adapt to keeping everything pointing in the right direction. What's happening underneath those front tires is being translated back to the steering wheel, which is chattering away in the palm of my hand. In standard mode, this has got quite a nice light steering feel. So that means maneuvering around car parks and through town is just made that much easier. I confirm that steering up by changing the driver experience control into sport just gives you a little bit more feedback, a little bit more weighting through this leather rimmed wheel. And all my dials have gone red and they're angry. I like that. At motorway speed, you get a little bit of wind noise around the front pillars, but it's not really that noticeable. There is, however, quite a roar from the road, no doubt thanks to these big tires. Visibility is pretty good. Each of the pillars aren't too oversized whereas the sloping rear roof at the back creates a little bit of a blind spot. Well, the Grand Coupe 440 is absolutely epic. It's super quick, handles brilliantly, and yet has got a comfortable ride. There's space in here for four and a big boot. So what's not to like about the 440? Remember to check out the website for the full review of this car and subscribe to the YouTube channel for free. But do leave your comments in the comment section below of what you think of the 440.